Hello, welcome back to the Rusty Mats channel and welcome to this, my second video all about bar charts. This is a three part series video and this is the second video. And in this video, we're going to be doing comparative bar charts. Let's jump into the lesson. All right, so what's this all about? So it's still a bar chart and we still obey the rules that we normally obey from bar charts, but now we're comparing two bar charts. That's where the word comparative comes from. It's a comparative bar chart. We're comparing two bits of information. Now, if you've seen my last video, link coming up over there somewhere, um, then you will know that for bar charts, we look for certain things. Like for example, the bars need to be the same width and the space between them need to be the same. And I said in that last video that the two bars shouldn't touch. In this one, they will touch. Let's jump into it and see what's going on. So now I'm going to be an ice cream seller. I go around to villages, I'm selling my ice cream from my ice cream truck. And um, I've got village one and village two. And these two villages, they've got, they've got particular tastes. There are things that they like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot this now and then see what's going to happen. Now, before I start plotting, I look for my biggest number. So my biggest number here is 30. So on my number of ice creams sold or my frequency axis, this is frequency, I'm going to go up to 30 because that's the biggest number there. And then we'll see what happens after that. Now with a comparative bar chart, because you're going to have different types of bars or different colors of bars, I need a key. So let's now set out the key straight away. So in my key, I'm going to say green is going to be for village one and the yellow is going to be for village two. And then now we're going to just do it one at a time. So we're going to plot village one. I tend to sell about 25 ice cream into that, um, sorry, strawberry ice creams in that village. So I'm just going to put that down there. And it's just about 25, but I'll just bring it down a little bit. Now I'm going to move my other bar. I'm going to need that in a little bit. And then for the next one, I need vanilla. And vanilla don't really sell that much. So I'm only going to sell 10 of those. So for that one, I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to bring this one over here, leave a little bit of space and then we'll bring this one down to 10. So you know what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to pause the video here and finish off the rest. OK, so let's catch you up on what I've done so far. So what I've done is I've plotted my strawberry at 10, van sorry, 25, my vanilla at 10, pistachio at 5. That went up to 15 for the mint chop chip and the other is 10. We're just gonna label the bottom real quick. Okay, so I decided to go for a shortened stuff. So strawberry is SD, vanilla, pistachio, mint chop chip and other. So now I need to plot what my sales were like in village two. And so for this one, I now need to move this over here. And this time it's going to be touching that bar. And the first one, it only goes to 10 for village two. So not very many people actually really like this one. So that's gonna go for 10. And then for the next one, we're going to go for even fewer people like this one. Okay, so here we go. So let's see what we've actually got here. So when you compare the two, you can see what's going on, but let's deal with the nitty gritty first. First of all, all the bars are the same width. Regardless of which one you're looking for, they're the same width. I tried also to maintain the same width between the bars. I, did, I wasn't so successful with it, but that's a general idea. So you have to maintain the same width between, and I can see these ones are a little bit wider, but you make sure you do that. Now, let's see what this information is telling me. Now, when I go to do my shopping and I get stuck in the van before I go out, so today I'm going out to village one and village two to sell my ice cream. I can clearly see sticking out right at the top there, I need to buy loads of strawberries and I need to buy loads of pistachio because the strawberry are gonna sell out in village one and the pistachio are gonna sell out in village two. I also need to buy quite a bit of mint chop chip because between the two villages, I would sell normally about 35 of those. How did I get that? Add the two. So together, this is quite a lot of sales here. 
Um, don't really sell so much of that. Don't really sell so much of that. I'm still going to buy it, but I'm not going to buy a lot of it. What I'll make sure, though, is that I've got loads of strawberry, um, at least 25, 30 strawberry, because I can see I sell about 30 of those. Lots of pistachio and also a lot of mint choc chip. And when I take that information down, I am taking it not just by looking at one bar, but I'm looking at the pair because the pair actually tells me overall between these two villages, what will happen with my sales. All right, guys. So I hope you understand how comparative bar charts work. It helps you out in your exam questions as well. And if maybe you grow up to be someone who wants to run your own business or you are running someone else's business, this is a great way to check your data to see what's happening and compare two or more different sets of data. But for now, though, until I see you on video number three, peace.